I've got some new goodies. This video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution R Set Play, and today I have a quick video for you. It's kind of an impromptu video. I just bought some stuff from Blick and I thought I'd share it with you. It's not a huge art haul, but it is a few things that I'm refilling, and I thought it would be interesting to show you like the types of pencils I go through the most and things like that. I have to say there are some things that are on back order that didn't come in this order. And so I was not gonna wait for that the back order stuff because who knows when it'll be here. If I can get this completely open. Okay, so I just wrestled with this off camera to get the rest of the tape off. Ugh, struggle was real. Let's open it up. This is going to be a mix of things that are kind of new to me or things I've wanted to try for a while and a lot of refill stuff. So let's see what I've got. The first thing that I have is some isolation coat and this is basically to put on your acrylics, like your obviously your acrylic paintings before you put varnish over it and it's to just kind of protect it from your acrylics from mixing with your varnish and varnish when you varnish your artwork it should be a removable varnish and so this kind of protects your painting so that if somebody tries to restore your painting down the line and they want to remove the varnish it's not going to also remove your paint along with it <laughs> and I'm not going to lie I never knew about this until just recently and I'm not happy about that. I I have used removable varnish in the past. I was taught how to varnish my paintings in high school back when I was 14 and obviously this had never come up back then and I mean I don't expect to be rich and famous to the point where somebody's going to be restoring my artwork someday however for the sake of you know archivalness I want to start trying to do this. So yeah that's what this is about. And I'm going to try it out. I only got like a small thing and I'm going to do more research on it, obviously. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on that when I find out more. Okay, let's see what's in this thing. All right. How's that for your fun noises? Okay, so I have here the System 3 Acrylic Ink. And I've been wanting to try these ones for a while because I love the System 3 acrylics by Dayla Rowney. And I just have been wanting to try their acrylic inks. I have the Liquitex acrylic inks, but I want to try these ones out. And so I got colors that I didn't have in the Liquitex, so that way there I could just use them together. So I got the Sap Green, Purple, and Cerulean Hue. But yeah, very pretty colors. These are going to be a lot of fun. And these do have um, light fast ratings on them and stuff like that online, I think. And it has pigment information written right on them as well. Oh, yeah, the light fast information is right there. And it tells us, like, if it's opaque and stuff. And these ones are supposed to be opaque. So I'm pretty excited about trying those. Okay, so the next thing are a couple of refills. I use the Golden High Flow a lot. I use these especially in my airbrush, but I love them for like regular painting as well. I got a big bottle of this because I love that rich blue color. Like this is like one of my all-time favorite colors. It's just like such a gorgeous, deep, dark blue. And then Cerulean Blue Hue, great for skies. Okay, let's see. This packaging is going to be the death of me. And I'm doing this after work, so I'm already tired. <laughs> but it is nice to come home from work and have a box of art supplies waiting for me. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was already excited to come home to my dogs, but, you know, art supplies never hurt. So I got a couple more refills here. And the funny thing is, so something else... Blick was actually running a special where <laughs> if you buy a certain amount of System 3 products, they'll send you some free System 3 ac acrylics, which I use these all the time. These are an awesome acrylic. I have used these for over 20 years, and they're not like the 
highest end, but they're definitely not the lowest end. And these are not to be confused. De La Rowney has like the Simply, I don't know, Simply Acrylics, I think is what their line is called. I hate those. Those suck. But these are really good. These are actually more in line with like the Liquitex Basics. They're actually a little bit thicker, sometimes a bit more opaque. Um, and a few of the colors I've noticed are more vibrant, but I've used these ever since like you know, since the dawn of time, since I've been using acrylics, basically. After I switched from craft paint, I switched to these, and I love them. So I use them quite a bit now along with Golden Brands. But anyway, so they were running a special, I don't know if they still are, where if you buy a certain amount of money of the System 3, <laughs> you will get a free 8-pack of System 3. And I'm like, well, that works out because I'm already buying a bunch of System 3 stuff, you know? The 8-pack that they're supposed to send is one of the things that's on back order. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows when I'll get that but I digress okay now what do I got in here oh yes 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 I love the titanium white acrylic gouache by Holbein I had gotten some of these from Holbein a while back that was very generous of them and I have already gone through most of the white I really wish they'd make a huge white tube of this I know that they make large tubes of like their oil paints and stuff like that I wish they would make a large tube of their white gouache because um acrylic gouache because I love this it's so opaque and so nice and this is a pretty good white too I find this to be pretty good and opaque when I need it to be but it mixes well I'm not a huge fan of mixing white I'm a titanium white kind of girl and so yeah, I just find that these two whites are my favorites right now, and I had to get some more of this, so I bought, went out and bought some. And then the other thing that was in there, you may recognize this kind of paint from when I did an Art Snacks box. I opened an Art Snacks box on my channel, and actually two Art Snacks boxes, and I think both of them had this in it, because the first one my husband bought me, and it came with their magenta and the second one was a build your own box so I got to choose the items I wanted in it and I chose their cyan and so I got a yellow one to kind of complete my primaries so to speak so I could have mix whatever colors I want I will be getting more but I'm like well I'll just get the yellow for now so that I can have my primaries and mix what I want I really love this gouache this is great and it's reasonably priced I don't know it was just beautiful so I had to get some more of that okay so one of the things that was a, a refill are my pencils and a few of these things were on back order and like I said who knows when it's going to show up so I couldn't wait I didn't want to wait to open this package until that showed up because it could be like mm, a month or two down the line So I'm just going to take them out of their bags. Okay, so I'm going to show you by brand. The first pencils I want to show you, and this is one reason why I wanted to do this unboxing, was to kind of show you like the colors that I've used a lot lately in my work and what I needed to refill. The first thing I want to show you is the Derwent Drawing Chinese White. I got three of these because I use these in literally every colored pencil piece that I do. This is the white pencil that I use in all of them. Doesn't matter what other brand I'm using primarily, I could be using, you know, Prismacolors. It doesn't even matter. I always, always use this white. It is my go-to white. I love it so much. It's creamy. It is opaque. It's fantastic. And so I got three of them, and that probably still won't be enough because I go through them so often. And then I got some of the Derwent Light Fast just to replenish some of the colors that I've used a lot of. As you can see here, I've used a lot of my greens. I have the forest. I have the grass green. Um, and then the grass green 70%. And then nightshade, which is a beautiful, beautiful, dark, dark, like purpley type color. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Love this brand. Love this line. Then I have a couple of my polychromos to replenish. I believe I ordered a couple more colors as well. I don't remember what the other colors are right now. I always have to just write them down and keep track of them that way. 
because I have so many colored pencils. But so I have the cadmium orange and the chrome oxide green. And then, like I said, I think I have a couple other colors that I ordered that are on back order. So they'll get here when they get here. And then I have the Very Thin Black by Prismacolor. I love the Very Thins for doing fine detail. And I use the black one probably the most out of any of the Very Thins I have. In fact, I think this is the first time I've ever had to replenish one of my Very Thins. I've had them for a long time. And so, of course, the, the only one that I've had to replace so far is black. And then this one is kind of an odd duck <laughs> not an odd duck but this is not a brand I use very often but I had bought a set of these Brunzeal designs years ago and I don't know what happened I don't know if my set got damaged because I didn't have this issue with any of the other pencils in the set but the black was broken all the way through so like I used it once and got to the point where I had to sharpen it and it just kept breaking and I had to sharpen and sharpen and sharpen and yeah, um, but I didn't have that issue with any of the rest in the set, so I decided to just replace the black and give it a second chance and see, because they're actually really fun to work with, and maybe I'll do a piece on my channel soon and kind of do a review of them, because I don't think I've ever used them on the channel. Like I said, I've had them for a long time, and the case is pretty cool, so I wanted to have a complete set again, and so I went out and bought just the black. Fingers crossed <laughs> that this one isn't the same way. And I also had ordered a couple Prismacolors to refill some of the colors that I use with Prismacolor. And yeah. So something else that I've been wanting to try for a little while is this paper. And I bought a pad of each. This paper is like dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. It's like $5 for a, like a pad of 40 Like $6. Like $5 and some change dry mixed media and it kind of has a bit of a sandy feel oh wow that's different that is different this is the natural i don't know if you can see look at that texture that's really really pretty i heard of this from Lindsay, the frugal crafter you've probably heard of her if you're on my channel you've probably heard of her and um when i heard about the price i'm like i can't beat it so i'm gonna try it it's got like a it's not as stiff as I expected, but it's also not like too flimsy. I'd say it's, yeah, it's probably about the same thickness as me tints. One thing I want to check, I want to see um, Sans Acid. I want to get my acid tester pen. Okay, I got my acid tester pen and I'm going to see a lot of the sanded paper on the market will claim to be acid free and it's not so I'm just gonna take sometimes it can take a second to show if it's not so if this stays purple then it's fine but if it turns yellow or disappears we'll know it's not acid free so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit but I'm very intrigued by this paper I want to try obviously some pastels and I'm thinking maybe some like either oil pastels. I don't know if, I don't know. I just thought that it was really neat and the price was interesting. It's not so sandy that, um, like it's not so rough on your hand that you wouldn't be able to blend with the paper. It's definitely just got an interesting texture. It's more like the sand is built right into the paper itself as opposed to it being coated with sand, if that makes sense. And so far, this hasn't changed a bit. So I think we're doing good. I think this is going to be acid-free. But yeah. And then I, the one other thing I was going to show you, I had gotten it from Amazon, is just another refill of these little cheap palettes. I, I've lost some. I think I've given some away. And then I just realized that not being in my studio, it's more convenient to use these while I'm working from my living room than it is to haul my big palette down that's like flat and everything like that especially for like smaller projects so I just bought a cheap set of them it's a four pack but yeah I will link everything in the description below if anything here interests you it's not my most extravagant art haul but I figured I'd share it with you because you're gonna see some of this stuff on the channel I'm sure 
And if you'd like to see me use anything, let me know. I'll probably do a review on this paper and, you know, maybe do a piece with the Brunzeal design pencils that I have since I haven't done that on the channel yet. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. You have a great day. Bye.